Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Paris FC facing Charleroi. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. And the match is underway. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And showing fine vision. Now what can they do from here? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it was his general play as well that was excellent. Coming short to receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. A wonderful intervention. Julian Lopez. Camera. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But they dealt with the threat posed. Yusuf Badji. Well, strong play here. Moving the ball effectively. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Julian Lopez. Crossing opportunity. Using his strength to shield the ball. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. 
Kayembe. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Can they keep it out? Well, that's the end of that for now. Julian Lopez. Jonathan Iglesias. A very good tackle. Marco Eli Maritra. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Eli Maritra. Just cutting off the supply. That's fine play to keep control of the ball. Can they create something from here? And options in the centre. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Brilliantly blocked. Cleared away comprehensively. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Iglesias. Lopez. Unsuccessfully cut out. Stefan Knezevic. And the emphasis is on creativity, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Baji. Now a decent position. Can they get in behind them? Running with the ball confidently. Teammate in support. Could be troublesome. Must be! In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, a second goal for them here. Alimani Gori. Well, the hosts, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. That's a lovely ball. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Camera. 
Jonathan Iglesias on the offensive well they haven't overcome all the difficulties Julian Lopez that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack and breaking at pace with Menace Marco Eli Maritra. Oh, great vision. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. And they will make the change now. Iglesias, Anna, Julian Lopez, Ali Mami Gori, Florent Anna, decent position, going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Jonathan Iglesias. Lopez. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Morioka. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Bayo. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Well, just listen to this reaction. They're affording their opponents far too much time on the ball. They have to press higher up the pitch. The cross is on. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.